Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Andy and I am a language learning addict and every day I have to learn something, it doesn't matter which language, I have to do some kind of language drill, language exercise, Duolingo, Pimsleur. So the Pimsleur method is one of my favourite programmes for beginning learning a language and I want to share with you some of the features of Pimsleur in this video, so stay tuned. So a couple of years ago, I made a video about the Pimsleur method. And in that video, I showed you some of my collection of Pimsleur uh, CDs that I had. Um, so I had uh, Mandarin, Arabic, Greek, etc, etc, etc. And I've actually listened to about 20 different languages worth of um, Pimsleur lessons, which is Incredible, really. That's a lot of my life. It's probably like about half my life I've been listening to Pimsleur. Um, but it is very addictive. Um, it's effective for helping you get into a language in the first stages because it helps you with the confidence of speaking. Um, and it helps you with just getting used to hearing the language over and over again. So only this week, uh, I realized that Pimsleur have a package that you can get for £18 a month where you get access to all the languages, all the available courses. So I decided to go for that and I need to subscribe for a whole year. Um, so I've done that and um, I'm still in the seven day trial period, <laughs> but I've already uh, listened to several lessons of several different languages. It's really addictive. Um, of course, I've started learning Ukrainian. Um, who wouldn't at this time? Um, it's a way of kind of supporting the Ukrainian people. And I've noticed that on a lot of um, polyglot Facebook groups that I belong to, language groups, that people have started learning Ukrainian. So I'm joining in with that. And I already started doing a bit on Duolingo with Ukrainian. So this video, I want to talk about Pimsleur anyway, and show you some of the features of Pimsleur if you do join this um, all language accessibility thing. Uh, you get access to premium features on some of the languages as well. So um, for example, with some of the premium languages, so that's the big languages like Mandarin, Spanish, French, Italian, and so on, um, where they have lots of different levels of the language, uh, you get access to flashcards and some of the dialogues, and you can do little tests on there as well. Um, with having this Pimsleur package online, you can tick off the lessons that you've completed. So my problem with um, having such a big course in Mandarin, for example, was that I worked my way through from level one to five in a very short period of time. But I did it too quickly, actually, and I didn't really, uh, my Mandarin wasn't really brilliant at the end of listening to level five. So I had to keep going back and back. And I think Mandarin is one of those languages that's more difficult to listen to at first. It takes a while because of the tones and because um, I wasn't looking at the visuals of the language, um, even though I was doing other things at the same time, like Duolingo and watching YouTube videos with um, subtitles and that kind of thing. So um, with the Pimsleur all language thing, um, you can choose from 50 to 51 languages, but uh, some of the languages only go up to 10 lessons, which isn't really very good, actually. So if you don't know what Pimsleur is like, the content is completely auditory and it's based on dialogues between two people. So at the beginning of a first Pimsleur lesson that you'll learn, if you don't know any of the language, you'll listen to a dialogue, and at the end of the lesson, which is 30 minutes long, you will understand the dialogue. And it might sound a bit crazy that, um, how can you understand this dialogue between two people that's about sort of a minute long? But the dialogue is very basic, and it has uh, re repeats in the dialogue anyway. And so you'll be asked to repeat phrases from the dialogue. And then by the end of the 30 minutes, hopefully, if you've applied yourself to listening, uh, you can understand the whole dialogue. And then the next lesson will be a similar thing, but it will be you'll, you'll build on your sentences each time. So every lesson has the same format. You'll be, there'll be a dialogue at the beginning and there'll be a dialogue at the end. And sometimes there's um, a small dialogue in the middle as well, where you'll be art prompted to go along with um, the speaker and have a kind of conversation, mock conversation. 
um, it works. It's it's effective in helping you to start um, learning the language. But I don't know if it's just me because I'm very much an auditory learner that I get a lot out of Pimsleur because I've seen lots of negative reviews about Pimsleur as well. And there are lots of YouTube videos giving um, negative views on Pimsleur. So let me just run through what I think are the positives and negatives of Pimsleur. And then I'm going to give you, show you some examples of how this, um, how Pimsleur is developed and how for the bigger languages like Chinese, Spanish, uh, French and so on, you can get more features from Pimsleur, like you can get the uh, dialogues, um, you can see what the dialogues are and you can also do some flashcards and some small tests. So for me, the positives of Pimsleur are that it's really easy to use. You can use it while you're doing something else. So you can just listen to a lesson while you're ironing, you're cooking. Um, I don't drive, but I could listen to it while I'm on the way to work if, if that was the kind of thing I wanted to do. And then you can, um, each lesson is only 30 minutes long. So you know you can put that time aside for the lesson if you are the kind of person who can't do two things at once. Um, by the way, um, I made some videos about language learning styles and learning styles, and there's a link to the series of videos here. And I came out very much as an auditory kinesthetic learner. So I, I think if you are the same profile as me, Pimsleur will be really useful for you. So that's the positive for me. Um, a positive is that um, I've had feedback from native speakers of the languages that I've tried to learn on Pimsleur, and they say that my accent is very good. And I believe it's because Pimsleur helps you uh, speak. It encourages you to speak from day one and you get used to kind of mastering the uh, what, you're, what you're saying. So if you're saying the same thing over and over again, gradually you will improve your accent as long as you're not saying it badly over and over again. Um, so there's that. That's a positive for me. And then um, going to some of the negatives. Um, I studied the whole of the Mandarin series, so it was from level one to five, and it really helped me improve my Mandarin. Um, so that's actually a positive, really. But on the negative side, um, some of the vocabulary used was not um, some of the common vocabulary. So I'm going to give you an example. Um, in Throughout the course, they keep saying uh, ka shu, which means uh, but, but there are two but in Chinese, there's also dan shu, which is much more commonly used. And dan shu doesn't really get introduced into this course until a bit later on. And when I was speaking with a um, Chinese friend, um, I kept saying ka shu when I wanted to say something, something but. And she kept saying to me, why do you say ka shu all the time? I said, because I, that's what I picked up from Pimsleur. And she said, really, you should be saying dan, dan all the time or dan shu. And then um, when I started watching YouTube videos and Chinese films on Netflix, I noticed that uh, 80, 90 percent of but is, is Dansha and only about 10 percent is Kasha. So um, sometimes the vocabulary is a little bit formal and it's a bit geared towards business studying. So some of the scenarios in the later higher levels um, have things like um, how to import bamboo <laughs> flooring um, and importing buttons and things like this. And I would rather it would have been more street talk, but it doesn't matter. I mean, I've, in a way, um, I'm still learning the grammar and the sentence structures. And as the levels go on, the sentences do get more complicated and they start introducing more um, variations on the language. So it's, you know, it's, it is good for me. Um, another negative is the cost of Pimsleur. So, um, I mean, I'm going to show you this premium package in a minute. And to me, that's really cheap because £18 a month gives you access to all 51 languages. Um, and I've spent a lot of money on what I've got here. So, for example, the Mandarin course I got second hand. I think it was either £80. It might have been £100. And the Arabic course which is levels one two and three i paid about 70 pound for and the same with the portuguese i might have paid 50 pound i can't remember but they were if you add it all up i've probably paid 500 pounds for pimsleur over the last few years so i'm actually going to be making a saving and i might be able to sell some of these or give them to friends 
or distribute them somehow. I don't know how. So maybe I'll make some videos about that and you can have some uh, videos in the, uh, some CDs if you like Pimsleur. Uh, how, what do you think of that? Maybe. Um, so that's one of the negatives. And another one of the negatives is that you don't get any visual uh, material as well. So you do, if you have these premium languages, um, you get the flashcards and you get the this kind of thing. You don't get much vis visual stuff to supplement it. That's about it. And you don't get it for the other languages that don't go up to level three, four, five. So there are lots of languages on PIMSA 51. But one of the negative things is that quite a few of them only go up to 10 lessons or up to level one. And so I've started learning Ukrainian. I'm up to level uh, lesson 12 and I'll have 30 lessons. When I get to the end of 30 lessons, um, I won't have any more to do. And that same thing happened to me in Polish. I did 30 lessons. However, on Russian, um, I did levels one, two and three of Russian. So that's 90 lessons. Um, and there are levels four and five, which I haven't yet done. So I can now do those on Pimsla. Um, so Pimsla needs supplementing with something else. So you might find it expensive if you're paying out for this and then you think, well, I actually need something else as well. It's a bit of a bit of a swizz, but um, but it's effective. So let's have a look at the premium side of Pimsa and you can see how that works. So I'm on a Ukrainian lesson here and this is where I left off at lesson 13. Um, I'll take it back to the beginning so you can hear the dialogue that I was talking about. Winna. So here we go. This is unit 13 of Pimsleur's Ukrainian. Olena is speaking with Serhi. You'll hear Zhanoyu, which means with Hana. Слухайте. Listen. Слухайте. Алло? Алло, Олена? Це Сергій. Добрий день, Сергію. Скажіть, Олена, чи не хотіли б ви повечеряти зі мною? Сьогодні? Сьогодні я збираюся повечеряти з Ганною. А завтра? Так, за любки. О котрій? Може, о дев'ятій? Добре, о дев'ятій. У вас. До побачення, Сергію. До побачення, Олена. Послухайте ще раз. Послухайте ще раз means listen again. Um, so I actually understood that conversation having just started learning Ukrainian uh, about four or five days ago with Pimsleur. I have been doing Duolingo for a couple of weeks now or maybe a bit long. I don't know, 10 days, doesn't matter. But um, they were talking about um, going out to the meal tonight and what time do you want to go and things like that. So I understood I understood that, which is great. Um, so that's the good thing about Pimsleur is that um, it does get you quickly into a language, um, even though you might not have such a huge range of vocabulary. Um, the stuff that you do get exposed to, you can understand by repetition quite quickly. So that's quite good. So that's how the lesson works. And then as the lesson goes on, uh, you're just asked, prompted to ask, uh, to repeat phrases. So I'll wind it on a bit longer. Listen, Listen again. again. Tomorrow, Tomorrow evening. evening. So that's Zaftara. Uh, Zaftara vechere. Zaftara vechere. Zaftara vechere. Very similar to Russian and Polish. Zaftara vechere. Zaftara vechere. Remember, you are literally saying tomorrow in the evening. Now here's good evening. Слухайте і повторюйте. This is a new thing being introduced. Dobry večer. Dobry večer. 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 Dobry večer. So the good thing about having this online or on an app is that you can pause it anytime you want to. With a CD, you'd have to manually pause it. Um, and I'm just pausing it to show you that um, when something new is introduced, it's often repeated several times to give you a good chance to uh, help to get it, you know, un under your belt. But the good thing with this is you can pause it. What's, What's this, this new word, word for, for evening? evening? Vecher. 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 How would a woman ask, how much do I owe? Um, actually, I've forgotten that, but I'm just going to remember it by pausing it. Um, Venus. 
Uh, actually, I've just I've forgotten. Skilkiavina. Oh yeah, Skilkiavina. It's like Skolka in Russian. Skilkiavina. I only just learnt that new one today, so that will be repeated that phrase on another day and another lesson. So I'm not worried about not being able to remember things because I know um, I can either try to remember it in the next lesson or a bit later on. And sometimes I've found with um, these Pimsler phrases is that I could be suddenly walking down the road and suddenly I'll just remember something that I thought I'd forgotten. So somehow it does seem to work with memory. I don't know how, but um, I like this method, Pimsler method. It's good. No. Say, Say 12 and 11 pregnias, please. Oh, um, dvadesit, dvadesit. Dvanadset i odnadset hrevin, bud laska. Dvanadset i odnadset. Anyway, let's leave this and we'll go on to show you some of the more advanced features. So I've chosen a lesson here, lesson number 14 of Mandarin level 4, to look at the different features. So this is, um, Mandarin is one of the premium languages, which means that you get access to all these other things. So if you click on the reading, um, you get extra reading exercises that are not actually in the lesson. So these are all extra things. And uh, you can just click on it or press play and it asks you to read it. Read number one. Biao Yan Yi Shu. Biao Yan Yi Shu. And you can check your pronunciation with the speaker. Biao Yan Yi Shu. Biao Yan Yi Shu. Number two. Be Chang. Ge Chang. Ge Chang. Number three. Wu Dao. Wu Dao. Wu Dao. So you get the idea of Number that one. Four. Just do one more. Jiang Xiao Hua. Jiang Xiao Hua. Jiang Xiao Hua. Okay, and then back to the features here. So you've got flashcards, um, and this is vocabulary from the actual lesson. So you can either do Chinese Mandarin to English, or English to Chinese Mandarin. So let's do English. Um, they spoil the dog. So Tom and... Taman Chong Taman Chong Gao Taman Chong Gao Taman Chong Gao And then at the bottom here you have the option to say you've got it or you can skip it Panda so that's uh Xiong Mao or Da Xiong Mao Xiong Mao Xiong Mao Da Xiong Mao or Xiong Mao Um son in law is New Shui, something like New Shu, New Shui. Not sure. New Shu. New Shu, something like that. Okay, so you've got the idea there. Let's go back to the uh, other features. Uh, you've got quick match. I've already done How that. How many dogs does she have? Um, Tayo Tishumao. My oh, daughter sorry. and son in law have a dog. Um, they spoil the dog. Does your daughter spoil him? What is your favorite animal? Um, My favorite animal is the cat. They don't want little emperors. Um, if you want to play any of these, you can just press. So My son is now. an automotive engineer. You get the idea of that one as well. And then you've got uh, speakeasy, which is just speaking practice. So you can try to pronounce these and then you can click on the... Wang Jiao So let's do this long one here. Yo, wo he wo ren yo yi ge sun zi. Yo. Okay, and then the last one is a speed round where you can get nice 80 sounds. <laughs> uh, you have to be quick on this one. So they spoil the dog. Tom and Chonggo, external grandson, is. No, I got that wrong. Um... Panda is Xiong Mao. I got one wrong there, so it's gone on to the second one. 
Um, Ginyu, nope. Not doing very well on this one. It's a bit panicky. Sort of bear is a song. I have five cats. We are animal. Animal. Eight hundred points. I have done better with when I tried this earlier, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Uh, just to show you what the features are like and then there's a section where you can uh, put your profile and put a new photo on your profile um, I've saved a bit of vocabulary apparently I didn't know I'd done that let's have a look and see what that is oh I'd saved um, Tao which means calis calisthenics calisthenics Tao. It's easier to say in Chinese than English, actually. 